Hello everybody, this is that fish breeder here with hey another video. I am back everyone. Yes, that is right, I am back. And as you can see here, I have some summer plans I would like to review with you guys for this channel. Um I have thought of plenty of ideas about uh where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this channel over the summer and I have many projects and I will show you uh, in a couple slides from here. Uh first things first, an update that I just had is that um, I got a new camera. Yeah, that's right. It is an HD JVC Averio, uh, and it records in 1080p. It's very good quality. I've tested it. Um, it's not that bad, so you guys will have videos in full HD from here on out. Um, here we go. So here's the channel list of all, um, what I plan to do. So as you can see here, I have Daphnia Culture Project, uh, Guppy Breeding Project, and Trap Series number 3. Um, back with popular demand, of course. Now, first things first, um, I'm going to go in-depth with each and every one of these. Uh, the plan is to start off with the Daphnia Culture Project, and I will be recording a daily, uh, a daily, well, not daily, but a series updating about it. Um, and I'll have the Guppy Breeding Project, and this will be different from my previous Guppy, uh, guppy Breeding Projects. Um, and you will see why as I explain that slide. And trap series, really quite simple, and as you can see in underneath it, it says uh, eggs previously laid in trap series number two. So what I plan to do is record um, a series based on hatching the eggs in which my triops from uh, my last single uh, traps laid in my last series. Um, yeah, I have desiccated the sand, so I, in other words, I've dried the sand to the point where it imitates uh, the natural environment and therefore uh, should hatch a majority of the eggs out uh, if if all goes well and uh, there will be a series on that and we will start coming up on the Daphnia project now the Daphnia project is as you can see well first things first this is a Daphnia uh, there are multiple varieties I am planning to do the Daphnia Magna variety which is the largest type and one of the most easiest and prolific uh, culture type to breed. And if you're wondering what they are, they're a freshwater variety. Um, they're cousins of brine shrimp, as you can see here, the Nepali, which are the uh, younger ones to the left, and the fully grown adult brine shrimp on the right. And they are very similar. They are crusta um, not crusta yeah, they're crustaceous invertebrates, and uh, they're wonderful animals to breed. Uh, for in specific, for growing, uh, to feed, uh, fish. So as you can see here, this is a Daph Daphnia culture. Sorry, and I plan to purchase some off of eBay or a site that will have a decent amount and will have a good, well-working culture. I plan to start off from a singular culture, get it running, and once it is inc and they breed incredibly rapidly. Um, I heard it's approximately 100, uh, a singular mother could um, give birth to approximately 100 smaller Daphnia in approximately 4 days, so it will be very prolific breeding indeed. Uh, a thing to note is that I'll, since, as I said before, I'll start off on one singular large culture, and to, pre to prevent crashes, I will uh, begin multiple other smaller cultures, uh, so as to ensure that I will always have some Daphnia on hand. And the plan is is that this will be the starting project of my summer because simply uh, it, it, it's really quite vital for the other two projects, which is the Guppy Breeding and Trap series, as I will be using the Daphnia as a live food substitute for both series. Uh, I, I find it quite important, and uh, yeah, that's the plan anyways. So... Let's go along in here. So as you all can see here, the guppy breeding project. Uh, uh, I do plan to breed guppies as I have done in pre um, long, long time ago in previous videos. Except the difference is that I'm really going to set this one up a notch. I am planning to uh, breed this in a more scientific uh, geneticist kind of way. And the idea is that I will be choosing selective traits, uh, whether they're fin shape, color, um, or may possibly even adaptive qualities such as hardiness of the fish or uh, adaptability to temperature or whatnot. And the idea is that 
I banned, uh, plan to buy a male and female guppy and identify all characteristics of both, including shape, color, uh, temperature range that they can handle and whatnot. And I will try to breed for specific traits and uh, do my best to be uh, look throughout the different generations from first, from parrot generation to second and third and fourth and fifth. And the idea is to try to get the best I can. Um, so anyways, here's the trap series. Uh, number three, back as I said before with popular demand, many, many people were requesting the series uh, reanimation. And I completely agree with it. It was m wonderful fun. And uh, I couldn't agree more than to try it out on the, the eggs that had been laid in the previous series. The idea, as I've said before, with the Daphnia culture is that uh, I will be using the live food not only to ensure a healthy and happy diet for these triops, but also to ensure um, I'm going to try to see if it in any way increases uh, activity or increases the primary health of the triops. Uh, I'm trying to see if live food will make any difference as I have yet to try live food with my previous triops. Um, and that I am really can't wait to try out the traps um, this summer. And that's about it, guys. Um, now you guys all got an idea of what I plan to do. Um, things are going well with my previous tanks. My turtle is still alive. Um, sadly, though, my goldfish, the one that had lived of approximately ten or eight years, I believe, has died as of recently. Um, but he lived a long, healthy life, and. So, but besides the sad news, as you can tell, things are going to go great this summer. I hope you guys can't wait. I'd like your feedback if you'd like any more ideas or anything of that sort. And hit me up with anything. Please like. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good summer. See you all.